Right. What happens if we just have two points and nothing else? So find the equation of the line joining the points minus 3, 4 and 5, 2. Write your answer in the form ax plus by plus d is equal to 0. So first find the gradient between the two points. We have a formula for that. m is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So we need to label this. Minus 3 is x1, 4 is y1. 5 is x2 and y2 is y2. Substituting the numbers in, so we're going to get m is equal to 2 minus 4 divided by 5 minus minus 3. So that's going to give me 2 minus 4 on the top. 5 minus minus 3 gives me 5 plus 3 on the bottom. 2 minus 4 gives me minus 2. And then 5 plus 3 gives me 8. 2 over 8 cancels down, and so we end up with a gradient of minus 1 over 4. So what that means, for every 4 squares we go along, we go down 1. So it's going to be a negative gradient. Right, in order to find the equation, we just go ahead and we use y minus y1 is equal to m brackets x minus x1. So what? y minus 4... So we'll just use this, these coordinates here. You could use these as well if you wanted to, but you just need to use one set of coordinates. Y minus 4 is equal to my gradient M minus 1 quarter. You write your fractions one above the other when you do this. X minus X1 minus minus 3. And then we're going to have Y... Uh, we're going to multiply this side by 4 because we don't want to divide it by 4. So 4 brackets y minus 4. We still have a minus sign in here. And a minus minus will make that a plus. Or don't forget to leave that minus sign here because we've got minus 1. If you're not sure, write in a minus 1 in front of the bracket. Next step is to expand the brackets. So we're going to have 4y minus 16 minus 1x which is minus x minus 3 we're aiming to put it in the format ax plus by plus d is equal to 0 usually a is positive so we're going to do the opposite of minus x which is to add x so we're going to have x plus 4y minus 16 on this side and we're still going to have a minus 3 on this side Be careful with the signs make this 0 we're going to have to add 3 so adding 3 to both sides we're going to have x plus 4y minus 16 plus 3 which is minus 13 and on this side we have 0 so this is now in the correct format x plus 4y minus 13 is equal to 0 now say for example I got that and I'm asked to put it in the format y is equal to mx plus c so if I had to write x plus 4y minus 13 equal to 0 in the form y is equal to mx plus c, writing it down, and we'll, this is the desired format that we're adding, aiming for. So we're going to leave y's on this side. So first of all, we're going to take x from both sides. So on this side, I'm going to get 4y minus 13, and on this side, we're going to get minus x. Then I'm going to add 13 to both sides. So we're going to get 4y is equal to x minus x plus 13. I don't want 4y, I want 1y, so I will divide by 4. So I'm going to get that y is going to be minus 1 quarter, which is the same as doing minus x over 4. And we're going to leave 13 as 13 over 4. This is not so useful because it's very hard to actually plot that point accurately and then do four along, one down to get the equation of the line. We'd, we really would have to have some sort of graph paper to do that. So the other format is generally, can be much better.